Yo dudes, welcome back to another video and this is another weapon review. I think it's part 5 or part 6 but still this, in this weapon review we are going to use the mobile set. So do not get confused with the mobility mobility weapons like very fast weapons like the horse hog, remote detonator, no no not remote detonator but still umbrella and all. So this is so this is for mobile players and if you are uh, if you are new to like pc gaming and all you can also watch this so for the swan i think dark art is the best sword if you are a mobile player this is one of my mains actually it lunges trash but uh, but it it gets the job done Dark Heart is very unique. It actually recovers 20% of the HP dealt to the, the dealt to another player by you with the Dark Heart. So you should not as, expect like let's say if you use a Super Ball and then uh, deal 50, 30 damage, 40, 30 damage, 60 damage and all to another player you won't get HP since the only, this is only for dark art which is very unique for this abilities I would recommend this if you are very skilled and, and I mean by skill I mean you don't smart spam since you, this is the worst weapon to short spam and this swing is very very low so I would suggest you use uh, you not swatch spamming while using the dark art also don't rely too much on lunges since it lunges very 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 slow recovering time so i think 33 percent extra time compared to the normal swat. okay anyways now for the bomb or uh, we don't have a bomb i think remote detonator is objectively the best bomb but for mobile players i don't think so i think uh, like pressing like equipping a but uh, equipping the remote detonator as well as the like detonating only when the time is enough I, it completely eliminates the purpose of remote detonator the remote detonator's purpose is to be fast it is i am not saying that remote detonator completely sucks but in the mobile but still i think it's not very very bad i i think it's not the idea so for the bomb i choose square bomb square bomb i already covered in the part three or part three or part two so go check it out if not if already so now for our rocket our rocket is surprisingly bomb beta so most of the people don't even know this you know, rocket on, uh, and then you just basically star blaster the cheaper version of star blaster star blaster is just a reskin so this is the best rocket for mobile in my opinion since it goes on an arc in mobile your thumb or fingers will disturb you that's what i had in well while i was a mobile player or a mobile player just having an arc is way way better and if you are no then it would e you can easily see the changes like but you cannot rocket jump very easily with bombay there and i think even and i think it is not that good for mobility but i will have a separate video on that uh, so but back to bombay there it will cost four thousand crowns in the shop it's very cheap and also it's re as i mentioned before it has a reskin known as a star blaster the popular version which, which costs 9k crowns so bombader is pretty is not even underrated it's just uh, the it's reskin it makes it popular okay now for a super world it's not even it's not even a ball it's a bow it takes a lot of skill to master yes it's a bow and but it's very very hard to master like it's 
like i only had couple of mid air shots with it and i sniped a lot of people with it if you are very good then it if you are very good then you can easily drain the hp of another player so for a mobile it's very good for a mobile players i recommend you to charge it it deals 50 damage when charged and 25 damage when not charged and it also breaks the windows when charged so if you want to easily escape you cannot with this but i think every other weapon have uh, uh, non charge breaks a win- breaks a window you, people always say uh, uh, shadow shuriken is way better than the bow since you can see a lot of comparisons with it but i think bow is, bow stands alone like bow is not do not compare shadow shadow blade with bow okay now for a cage now for a travel this is this is the hardest travel to master you can do a lot of things with it i didn't master this say that if you if you are the travels if you mastered the travel then you know what i'm talking about but for you new players it is cage travel if you want to trap players and be like a spider and be upside down and all you, this is the travel for you it cost 200000 not 200000 sorry sorry it's 200 crores in the shop so conclusion mastering in mobile takes a lot of requires some skill at least like when i was a mobile player you could see that i and my 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 first two my first two super doom survivor videos i be i believe but definitely the first one so it was it was very like you need to stand still in a lot of places and then also i uh, you could easily replace bow it had boom, bloomerang but i think for that damage dealers i think this bow is way better like chatterang doesn't even deal lots of damage like it only deals 30 well bow leech 50 okay so i all so i hope you guys uh, uh, so i hope you guys uh, uh, like the sun expected return and i think i and i will i am working on a secret thing that's why i've been offline for so many months i think five or six months okay anyways so i hope you all like this video and for please let me know if you uh, other weapons you super doom spy pros i am definitely not a pro i think i suck at super doom spy no i don't know why I, but i think i was objectively better back during when i was recover when uh, when i was recover Okay so anyways see you guys later bye this is this is the free and peace out